The 2024 Paris Olympics have been thrust into the spotlight, not for the athletic prowess of its participants, but for a storm of controversy surrounding gender eligibility in women's boxing. This controversy intensified on Thursday after a boxer withdrew from a bout against one of the contentious competitors just 46 seconds into the match. The uproar stems from the inclusion of Kalif and Lin Yuting of Taiwan in the women's boxing tournaments. Both athletes had previously won medals at the 2023 World Championships, but their success was short-lived. Tournament officials later revealed that the boxers had failed gender eligibility tests, resulting in the stripping of their medals. Despite the previous disqualification, the International Olympic Committee IOC, has upheld their eligibility to compete in Paris. IOC spokesperson Mark Adams defended the decision, stating, They've been competing in boxing for a very long time. They've achieved all the eligibility requirements in terms of sex and age. We're following the rules in place in Tokyo. Adams further clarified, Everyone competing in the women's category is complying with the competition eligibility rules. They are women in their passports, and it is stated that is the case. The controversy gained further traction after Khalif's recent bout with Karini. Khalif secured a victory with a single punch, prompting Karini's withdrawal. This match was the catalyst for an outpouring of criticism from prominent figures on social media. Jake Paul, a well-known pro boxer and social media influencer, expressed his dismay on X, formerly Twitter, saying, This is sickening. This is a travesty. Doesn't matter what you believe, this is wrong and dangerous. J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter series, was particularly vocal. She condemned the situation in a series of posts stating, Watch this whole thread, then explain why you're okay with a man beating a woman in public for your entertainment. This isn't sport. From the bullying cheat in red all the way up to the organizers who allowed this to happen, this is men reveling in their power over women. Elon Musk, owner of X, succinctly supported the sentiment expressed by Riley Gaines with a simple yet definitive absolutely in response to the assertion, men don't belong in women's sports. As the debate continues to gain momentum, it remains to be seen how the IOC will address the backlash and whether the controversy will impact the ongoing events at the 2024 Paris Olympics. The situation underscores the broader discussions about gender, fairness, and the evolving rules governing competitive sports.